I get a lot of questions from people asking me when we get the Mythic Switch Blade X9 back in the game, is it going to be the same Mythic Switch Blade X9 that we have in the game right now or is it going to be different? Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. For the comparison, I have max Mythic Switch Blade X9 in one account and in another account I have level 0 Mythic Switch Blade X9 which is not upgraded at all and today I could see a drastic difference between the two. The max Mythic Switch Blade X9 used to give me the same sound. when you select it in the loadouts but the non-maxed non-upgraded version didn't give me the same sound that it used to give me that is just one change when you go into actual gameplay when you score kills it used to talk but it doesn't talk anymore it still talks in the max mythic switch blade x9 but it doesn't talk in the base version so i feel like they are treating the base version the non-upgraded version as the blueprint that we are supposed to get in the next season that means whoever is getting mythic switch blade x9 in next season will not get these voice lines and it doesn't look like they are going to change anything for those who have maxed the mythic switch blade x9 already now hold on a second if you have it and don't try to max it out right now because we never know you can give it a shot but i will not ethically this is good because we spend money and we max the mythic and if you are going to lose features it's not going to be good but honestly i think whoever bought the mythic switch blade x9 back in the day should get these voice lines and all the features that it used to have because cod mobile come on those people bought it before others maybe you should just let them have it so that's hot news about mythic switch blade x9 it doesn't look like they are going to do any changes to the appearance i never noticed anything different if you did let me know in the comment section we also have the first gameplay inside of the brand new club thanks to jc rostorm and in here we can see similar games that we used to have the bar is there the game area is there and we have the same set of games that we used to have for the first anniversary which is good and they have also added some new games such as the obstacle curse you can also dj yourself or you can dance to music that we already have in the club the boxing game is there too so it's pretty much everything that i have shown you previously but it's just the gameplay inside of it and how it really looks like we also have the gameplay of the mk9 light machine gun we are supposed to get in next season this is the actual gameplay of this gun in call of duty mobile as you can see it deals a damage of 30 in close range which is amazing and then it goes down up to 24 looks like it is kind of overpowered i have made a couple of videos about the mk9 already basically it's like a better version of the pkm but an inferior version of the hulk and then we also have the gameplay for the ac-130 gun shape inside of call of duty mobile this is a gameplay inside of the fire range remastered and honestly i don't think this is a good map to show how it works but as you can see it outlines enemies although the enemies are covered by objects that's going to be really helpful and obviously this is cost trick is going to be kind of broken in call of duty mobile so what do you guys think about the ac-130 gunship are you excited for it let me know in the comment section now i promised you to show all the blueprints and character skins in the battle pass vault so let's do it right now first we're gonna start with the second anniversary battle pass as the character skins in this battle pass first we had the prize bravo 6 skin this is a beanie version of prize and he actually looks badass when he is dressed like this everyone loves prize there's no point of talking about prize in this video then we have general shepherd the only general shepherd that is playable is in call of duty mobile see how good call of duty mobile is the third skin we have is alias battle worn this is a reskin version of the original alias but this one also looks pretty good especially this outfit is darker than the original outfit i like it the fourth character skin in this battle pass is velikan volcanic ash look how big this dude is he looks scary just standing right there if we talk about the gun skins in this battle pass they are also pretty amazing the first gun skin we have is cr56 tattered shot this actually has a quite a different iron sight for the cr56 and when i use it it is actually much easier to use than the other cr56 skins we have in the game so this is a really good skin in my opinion the next skin we have is holger 26 anodized skin how many holger skins we have with different iron sights custom iron sights that are actually good this is one of them and this iron side is the best iron side you can get if you don't have a legendary or a mythic holger and this is such a great skin inside of this battle pass the third skin we have is mk2 future sharpshooter what's so special about this skin is it comes with an inbuilt scope a six by tactical scope and it works pretty good i love playing with this maybe i should use this often if you remove the scope this is how it looks like so when you remove the scope it basically looks like just another mk2 but you can't deny that the geometry and the design of this blueprint is over the top the fourth skin we have is rus hard spike this is another rus with a different custom iron sight not my favorite iron sight though but if you like 
customized sites and if you like areas you definitely like this one the final blueprint in this battle pass is r90 master of snakes r90 being a shotgun this comes with the customized side which is much easier to use than the other r90 skins so if you don't have any epic r90 skins with good iron sights you should definitely get this one this is a great shotgun in hard point matches now let's move on to the second battle pass we have final snow in this battle pass they came up with another iconic character that is soap cliffhanger this soap is skin is actually from the campaign so there's literally a mission where soap is dressed like this so this skin is very important and on top of that it is soap mactavish so why not the second character skin we have is atlas crash another mountaineer skin i guess with a very cold environment and then moving on to the third skin we have vagram modir whisper of winter we don't have a lot of skins with skinned animals do we so here we do have one and you better grab it if you are a fan of them the final character skin we have is keegan huntsman keegan is a main character in call of duty ghosts and i'm happy that he comes with this battle pass if you talk about the blueprints the gun skins in this battle pass the first gun skin we have is msmc deceitful dt when i use this msmc i weirdly felt it is so stable i don't know why but it is much better than the other msmc skins then we have kn44 frosted spikes this is a very popular kn44 skin among the community not because of the iron side or anything like that it's just basically the design it has a frosted design and it looks so realistic this looks amazing with different completions and tournament camos if you have it give it a shot it's sad that it doesn't come with the custom iron side though then we have my favorite skin out of all the battle passes that we are going to get in this battle pass vault next season the man of war wolf's mane man of war is supposed to be a slow firing high damage assault rifle and if you have really good aim when it is combined with a really nice iron side it is unbeatable so this skin is a perfect example for it i actually use this instead of the legendary sometimes when i was using the man of war this is such a reliable skin can't believe they made these skins like this for the battle pass so good the next skin we have is eco taste retreat now if you're wondering about the design of this blueprint it is because this battle pass came out within the christmas time and then the final blueprint we have is the pkm boru this skin is ordered from another call of duty title and they have mildly changed the iron side though that's what i remember back in the day but this is the very first epic pkm skin in call of duty mobile now we are moving on to the final battle pass shadows return in this battle pass as character skins we have templar unredeemed a more advanced version of the original templar skin and some people really like this skin over the original templar because he's having more accessories and items with him moving on to the second character we have stansfield the only stansfield skin we have in call of duty mobile stansfield was a very popular and a very iconic character in call of duty mobile comics so if you are a fan of them you should get this skin third skin we have is eager needle work this is a weird looking eager skin is all tattooed probably the most creepiest looking eager skin we have in the game but we can't say someone is creepy or not just by looking at the looks can we the final skin we have is alice ryan well just another alice skin nothing crazy about it and talking about the gun skins the first gun skin we have is lk24 vanquished unfortunately it does not come with a different iron sight but the design of this blueprint is different and it's pretty good then we have krm202 silent reaver this is a very long krm skin if you take a look at it you will realize it however it doesn't come with the custom iron sight it, therefore i'm not a fan of it the first skin with the custom iron side in this battle pass is ace world tagger this one actually has a really good iron side and i remember back in the day when we got this skin a lot of people used ace world because this is pretty cool next up we have pp19 bison hidden crawler this one has a brand new geometry and a really good iron side the iron side looks like an assault rifle to me although this is a submachine gun the final skin we have is svd black iron wood this was the season svd came into game which means this is the first ever epic svd skin in the game i'm not sure whether this is from another call of duty title i don't remember like that but nevertheless it is a really nice skin so those are all the items the character skins and gun skins we're gonna get in the battle pass vault now tell me which battle pass you think is the best one out of all the three battle passes i would love to know and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one